Our next guest is a cooking prodigy of sorts. An accomplished culinary artist in Korean food, Kathleen Choi has mastered thousands of recipes since she was 11 years old. She now gets to share those recipes with San Diegans on her show, Kathleen's Korean Kitchen. Joining me now is the chef herself, Kathleen Choi. Welcome, Kathleen. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Yeah, thanks for having me here. So it's exciting, a, a wide array of Korean ingredients. Mm -hmm. Tell us what we're going to prepare today. Today, the recipe is called bibimbap. Okay. Literally meaning mixed vegetables served with rice. Okay, well let's get started. What do we sure. have here? What are the ingredients? As you can see here, here's the sautéed version of all the ingredients mm -hmm. with bulgogi beef, which is very popular, Korean barbecue mm -hmm. beef. Over here are all the raw ingredients, uh -huh. which needs to be sautéed, but due to the time constraints, yeah. I've pre-sautéed all the ingredients. Thank you very much. <laughs> So, and, and what do we, this looks like tofu, am I right? Yes, I've uh, chopped up some tofu and some potato. Okay. Because Korean food is always served with rice, side of kimchi, and some sort of soup. Yum, I so love I'm going kimchi, to make spicy. Oh, good. And we have a meat of sorts over here. Yes, this is the uh, bulgogi beef, which I've pre-marinated mm -hmm. with soy sauce, sesame oil, Yum. minced garlic, and some sugar. Okay, yeah. so we want to go ahead and start putting things into the pot here, getting things started. Yes, I'm going to heat so up. So where does this recipe come from, Kathleen? Well, there are uh, different versions of bibimbap throughout Korea. Mm -hmm. And one of the most popular is from the Jeonju province. Yum. Yes, and we have two versions of bibimbap. One is served in a regular bowl and okay. the other in a clay pot like That's that. That's what we have right here. Yes. So at some point we're going to get to this. This is the surprise <laughs> here, but we'll have you wait for that. Um, so this is a typical Korean dish, or would you say this is something that's kind of rarely served? This is one of the most popular Korean dishes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, you can find it in restaurants, and you can also make it easily at home. Is it spicy? No, it's not. Actually, the sauce might be, which uh -huh. is a gochujang, Korean chili paste. Okay. You can see over there. Right the here, we have the chili That's paste. That's actually right a here. travel <laughs> version. Okay. I always have one in my bag when I travel. So, you know, a, a lot of people will be wondering where you get your ingredients. <laughs> How do they prepare a dish like this to its authenticity? Uh, so, so, where do you get your ingredients? Fortunately, in San Diego, we have a couple of Korean markets, mm -hmm. and one of the Korean markets is located on Convoy Street and the Mercury. Mm -hmm. It's a Korea, um, Zion market. They have the freshest ingredients and all the Korean spices and ingredients, whatever mm -hmm. you can find there. So I always get my ingredients there. So And fortunately, they also have kimchi and some pre-made Korean foods. Okay. Yeah. So what do you have in the bowl there right now? You just put some I have garlic uh, in. Are you going to put I'm some gonna water? I'm going to put some water in Okay. Now. Yes, because I'm going to make Doenjang jjigae, which is a Korean soup. Yum. Made with soybean paste. Okay. Which I've also mixed with some sesame oil. Okay. Minced garlic and some homemade anchovy and sea kelp base. Okay. Yes. So tell us about your show, Kathleen, because we get to, you know, enjoy this recipe, but as I mentioned, you get to share so many other recipes that you have been honing for years. Yeah. Well, I've lived in Southeast Asia. Uh, I was born actually in Vietnam, mm -hmm. and now I'm here in the U.S. So uh, I am familiar with different cultures, different kinds of Asian food, mm -hmm. particularly Korean because I am 100% Korean. All right. <laughs> and I've been cooking since I was 11. Yeah. Yes, and all my recipes, most of my Korean recipes are based on my mom's and my grandmother's. Yes. Awesome. So very and, and we might also add that you are the only uh, <laughs> Korean chef with a television show being broadcast in English, right? Yes, yes. you're right. It's a very a big accomplishment for you. Yes, it is. I actually started this back in 2008 Yes. Um, with the purpose of trying to promote Korean food and culture in the U.S. because Korean food and culture is you know, some, somehow uh, a little underrepresented mm -hmm. in the U.S., I might say, yeah. compared to other Asian cuisines. Right. 
Yeah, it's an acquired taste of sorts, but it is so good when you do taste it. Korean barbecue, especially, is my favorite. Oh, yes. Yes. Absolutely. A uh, very flavorful uh, type of right. food. So I'm going to go ahead and yes. open this pot here. And why don't you walk me through what exactly am I putting in here? Can I just put whatever sure. I want? Sure. <laughs> Bibimbap, like I said, is served with a variety okay. of sautéed vegetables and bulgogi dish. I'm going to go ahead and put it all in because sure. I'm not a picky person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the key is to arrange it around the right. Okay. Yeah. There nice you go. and pretty here. Yes. Make sure I make it presentable <laughs> here. I know chopsticks hey, a little I'm, harder. I'm, you know, I'm pretty good with these. Yeah, actually. you are actually. I don't need to brag, but <laughs> I like sushi, so it's giving me some practice. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we have some mushrooms. It looks yes. like here some carrots. So bulgogi, yes, this is zucchini. Make it nice and colorful. You got the shiitake mushrooms already in there, and okay. that's uh, carrots. Nice. And bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Mm -hmm. Get a scoop of that. I That's love That's break those. and fern called kosari namu in Korean. Wow. Very good. It's very I don't authentic. think I've ever had no. that. <laughs> but I think you'll like it. Very flavorful. Okay. And that spinach. Yum. You oh, like spinach, I can tell. You know, I do <laughs> like spinach. Got to get those and greens And the one in, in there. the end, actually, that's um, eggplants. Eggplants. Mm -hmm. That's good. And, and all these good. vegetables have been lightly sauteed in some cooking oil, olive oil. Okay, and so we have something else to add yes. here in the middle. The key little, is an egg. An egg. So mm -hmm. I'm going to crack this egg yes, right please. here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just put that right in the middle? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the potatoes because it's coming to a boil. I'm going to just cover that up again. That's good. Good job. <laughs> okay, and we'll just let that sit for a few seconds there. Yes, and so. I'm going to put it back on the stove to heat it up. Okay. Just about, you know, less like 30 seconds or something. Okay. So we want to go ahead and move that pot over onto there now just to yes, give it a good heat. It. So basically this dish mm -hmm. is this dish. Yes. Here. And, and it looks like uh, an horchata rice mix <laughs> type of drink. Yes, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's actually called shikhe uh -huh. in Korean, which is the traditional rice punch. Yum. And I have a recipe that I've uh, introduced uh, before, and it's also on my website, but I actually made it using rice cooker. Wow. Believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, you can see, is, is that rice granules in there? or, or At the bottom it course? is, but on the top I've okay. sprinkled some pine nuts, which is very typical. I'm going to get a taste of this. Yes, if that's you don't for you. Mind. Nope. Please go ahead. Okay. And while we're waiting on the... It's coming to a boil. Again, you know, you don't have to cook too long. Ooh, that's really good. You like it? I'm going to get another sip. It's great if it's a little more chill, but... Yes. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Very nice. And I'm putting some uh, cut up tofu in here. Okay. So it's very healthy. Uh, right. A lot of people uh, are familiar with miso soup, right, Japanese? Mm -hmm. Miso is a Japanese word for soybean paste. Mm -hmm. In Korean, it's twenjang. Okay. <laughs> I, well, I need to practice my Korean. <laughs> I know. That's a lot of fun. And that's it. Um, you know, tofu cooks really fast, too. Uh huh. So what I'm going to do now is uh, wait a few more seconds and then add some chopped green onion in there. Some chopped green onion in and there. And that's it. And that is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is the other dish that we have here, when that still needs to be heated up for another 30 seconds or so? Yes. Okay. So I think this is done. So I'll turn it off. Okay. Yes, I had to introduce it some It smells sort of really soup. good. Thank you. And I'm going to scoop up some here for you to taste. Ooh, that Especially looks the really broth. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's steaming there. Yes. And then what you do is green onion chopped, just sprinkle on top. And then a little touch of roasted sesame seeds. Oh, nice. There you go. Now, do and you add your own touch to some of these recipes, too, at the same time, garnish and, and whatnot? Uh, sometimes I do, but today what you're prepared. seeing is what it is. Okay. Very, very Korean, yeah. Very nice. This is really steamy. Yeah, <laughs> careful. That's not spicy at all. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. That is really good. You could really Thank taste you. the um, the onion in there. I love onions, yes. by the way. Um, so we can, of course, see you at the Asian Cultural Festival yes. giving demonstrations mm -hmm. this um, 
May 1st coming yep, up. May 1st coming up soon. Thank, thank you, you so much, Kathleen. Yeah, thank Appreciate you so much. It. Yeah. Good luck to you and your show. And thank of you. course, you could see Kathleen Choi again at the Asian Cultural Festival this year, May 1st at UTC Liberty Station.